Alright, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the chest fly exercise. This exercise can be done in a, a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you how to do it on the cables, um, but you can also do it on the bench and you can grab some dumbbells. I recommend doing it on the cables. There's also a thing called a uh, chest deck that allows you to do it on a machine. I recommend doing it on the cables or the machine because when you're doing it on, on the bench, once you get to about this point, um, gravity is not really creating resistance and you're not really targeting your chest muscle as much. So this is going to get a, a better target throughout the range of motion. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab the cables and you're going to line yourself up right in the middle um, or you're going to have your client line up. You can usually tell just by looking up there's usually a pull up or push up bar and you just get right in the middle of that and then you're going to step forward just a little bit. You're going to have your feet a little bit spread out, maybe about shoulder width apart and you want them not um, not straight next to each other, but a little bit off center just to give you a little bit more balance. What you're going to do is you're just going to adduct, horizontally adduct the chest muscles and then horizontally abduct at the shoulder joint. Um, so horizontally adduct and then horizontally abduct. You want to make sure that your elbows are slightly bent, but you're not bending them while you're doing the exercise. So keep them slightly bent throughout the range of motion. Don't lean too far forward or too far back. In this exercise, you can see that I had it right about chest level. You can also do it, uh, you can put the cable flies higher in order to more better target the lower pectoralis muscle, or you can put them at the bottom and target the upper pectoralis. So that's the chest fly exercise. 